Hello, this is Jerry Bates of FittingSites.com and welcome to our first screencast tutorial. And of course the best place to start is the very beginning and that's what we're doing right here. We're starting with a traditional WordPress installation. We have a little bit of content that we've already added to it. But this is how it looks pretty much out of the box. And this is a blog, of course, because WordPress originally was a blogging engine and so we're on our home page but it's full of blog articles. However, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a website and we're going to do that by creating a new home page where we can talk about our product and then we're going to create a separate page called blog and then we are going to put these blog posts inside of that page. And in WordPress this is a very simple thing to do but it's not obvious so I thought I'd take a second to show you here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a few pages. So let's take a look at what we have. Right now the only page we have is about us and we're actually going to need two new pages. So the first page we're going to create is going to be called Home. And actually I happen to have some text prepared already that I'm going to paste from my clipboard and I'm going to paste it as plain text so there's no extra styling involved and I'm going to click Publish. We'll go take a look at that in a second, but we're going to immediately add a new page. And this page we're going to call Blog. The interesting thing about the blog page is it's actually blank. It's just going to be a container that we're going to tell WordPress to put the blog in. So even though I have added no text whatsoever to this page, we are just going to publish it. And very quickly, let's take a look at our site and see what we have. And already we have something pretty confusing. We have two home pages. One home page which has blog entries on it, another home page which has our text on it, and we have a blog page that has nothing on it. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to go back into the dashboard and we're going to click on the settings tab and click on the reading panel inside of settings and this actually allows us to very easily decide which page we would like to display as our front page. And the easy way to do that is by clicking this button here to select a static page. And the front page is what's actually going to be the home page when people come to our site and just type in the URL without anything additional. And if we click on this selector we can see that we have all the pages that we've published. So we're going to select home as our front page or our home page in this case and for the post page that's where the blog is going to go and we're going to select blog that's pretty much it just those two simple things so we're going to save that change and then take a look at our website and indeed now home the very first navigation item is in fact our home page with our home page text and if we click on blog, now it is not empty as it used to be, but in fact it now is the container that is holding all of the posts that are currently in our blog. So with just a few pages and a couple of settings in WordPress, we have changed our site from a blog to a website. And now in our next screen tutorial, we are going to begin publishing our content to this site and making it look like a real business site. Until then, thanks for tuning in. This is Jerry Bates of FittingSites.com. Have a great day.